Now, this example has a very familiar look to it. We can piggyback on the assignments of shapes that we used in the last slide, because the molecules are all the same, to go directly to the hybridization. And now we need to make that connection. The hybridizations at main group atoms can be of the following types. sp3, that is 1s orbital hybridized with 3p orbitals to accommodate a total of 8 electrons. And hybridizations of sp3 lead to tetrahedral molecules. SP2 hybridizations leave unhybridized 1p orbital. The shape associated with an SP2 hybridization is trigonal planar. And finally, an SP hybridization, which leaves unhybridized 2 of the p orbitals on the atom in question will be linear. With that in mind, let's recapitulate each of these molecules, look at the shapes, and then fill in the hybridizations. Tetrahedral, sp3, trigonal and planar, sp2. Those are the central atoms, those are the hybridization. Cyanogen fluoride, two sets, linear, therefore sp. Think a little more about that. The sp hybridization goes into making the two sigma bonds to f and to n. But remember, there are two p orbitals that are unhybridized. And they go to make two pi bonds linking the carbon, nitrogen, triple bond. So the carbon-nitrogen triple bond consists of a sigma bond and two pi bonds. Again, a fairly simple example in hydrogen peroxide. These are sp3 hybridized oxygens in which two of the orbitals are used to form sigma bonds, one to hydrogen, one to the next oxygen, and the other two accommodate the two lone pairs on oxygen. And finally, acetaldehyde, the carbon of the CH3 or methyl group is sp3 hybridized, but the formaldehyde, or the aldehyde group, the CHO group, which is trigonal and planar, is sp2 hybridized. And let's think again of what that implies. 
that sp2 hybridization leads to three sigma bonds linking the carbon to the CH3 group, to the hydrogen, and to the oxygen. But there is one unhybridized p orbital and that goes to make a pi component of the carbon-oxygen double bond. So just as in a carbon-carbon double bond we have a sigma and a pi component, so in this carbon-oxygen double bond we have a sigma and a pi component.